Hey there friends, it's Rye Ball here from The Beaten Track and today I'm going to talk you through some of the highlights thus far on our caravan build, makeover, renovation, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's coming together quite nicely, 75% uh, of the way there so far, so there's still a little bit left to do. But anyway, thanks for joining us and I'll, uh, I'll talk you through some of uh, what we've done so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon. We really appreciate it if you can uh, subscribe to the channel. So here's the caravan coming home. Paid $1,700 for this. It's a 1988 Adelma pop top caravan. Just backing it down in front of the shed. Now Land Cruiser, just gonna have a look around the outside of it just to show you some of the old cladding, exterior. You see some bits of the trim and stuff like that coming off it. It's a bit old and cruddy, def desperate need of attention. So there's a broken window in the back of the van there too, you can see. Top top works, which is a good start. So plenty of work there to do. This is the interior, that's the kitchen at the front. Very old, dated. Vinyl flooring there, two layers of vinyl. Double, twin beds down the back, old light fittings. Pretty old and cruddy as you can see. So a lot of work here to do to rip all that out and uh, try and start fresh with a clean slate. So that's the kitchen again down the front. So here we go, just start ripping everything out. You will find uh, some of these videos of the um, earlier parts of the build on our YouTube channel if you're looking for them. Yeah, just cleaning everything out. Nearly there. Put the old vinyl flooring, that was a bit of a task. And then Floydian and I here just ripping off the cladding, getting it right back to bare bones. So really starting fresh. And once you take that cladding off, then you find uh, the little problems underneath it. Wood rot, so you can see how badly that wood is rotted out there. So luckily it was only sort of uh, one section at the front. There wasn't too much to do. But that's pretty much it there now with all the uh, cladding off it. And now start uh, painting and uh, getting the, the freshness back into it. That's my wife Shannon. Tighten drawers there, we're installing in the back underneath the back bed. That bed frame there I bought on uh, Gumtree. I actually got it for free on Gumtree. Um, hinged up and you can see the Titan drawers just fitting in on the right hand side there. That's the slide out kitchen just sitting loose in the caravan, ready to install. Finishing painting around the front. You can see those new sheets there, they're all brand new sheets put in. On the inside they had to be replaced. So beds in the back and bed in the front. So I've got a queen in the back, single in the front. New uh, vinyl flooring on the floor there. So ready to start building a cabinet. There's my brother. It's pretty handy with the cabinetry work. So he gave us a hand just doing that kitchen side. Floydy chopping up some, uh, some panel there. Start to uh, put on the new cladding. So we've got the black checker plate going on in the front, the back, and then around on the bottom sides. Just gluing it on with an adhesive. And that's a four mil composite panel there we've put on. And then uh, the fun part is peeling off that layer and then seeing that nice shiny new outside of the, uh, of the caravan. Looked awesome. It was, uh, Pretty stoked when we've seen that. So ripping off the old door there, Floydy made me a new door. Fitted in nicely. You see these hatches front and back as well. That tight and drill system gives you access to underneath the bed. Got that one from the King's 4x4 Supercenter here in Australia. New outlets on the outside, and that's the uh, slide out kitchen here, which is underneath the front bed, the single bed at the front. Double burner gas stove, sink. I've still got to get a fridge that goes on the end of that uh, drawer system. I did a recent video on that. So looking quite nice and tidy. Repainted those little handles on those cupboard doors there. New bench top, still got to put a sink in there. That's uh, my daughter's bed at the front. Sirocco fans, I don't know if you saw those on the front and back. So there's one for each bed, touch lights. They've got little USB outlets in them as well. You can see on the left there, I've still got to build a cabinet there. And get that done, new floor. And that's the, uh, the kitchen side. I still haven't got uh, doors on there yet, but there to come. This little um, slide out 
drawer set I got from Bunnings. Nice and simple, works quite well actually, I quite like it. So I just use an Oki strap there just to stop them sliding out. Little fridge I bought for $350. Three-way fridge, Dometic three-way fridge, so all, all hooked up, works perfect. Made a little door here for the porta potty, which is just under the bed. It's actually just like a, a built actual box in there under the bed, so it's fully contained. So yeah, looking a lot nicer and neater. This is a little switch, so it controls lights front and back and inside, and got a cigarette plug there, as well as a USB outlet just on the right hand side there. To monitor the battery. These little lights, I put a work light front and back, and they're awesome. They light up so well at night. So there it is, looking a whole lot tidier. It's come together really nicely. Still not quite there yet. As I said, 75%. We have actually got it registered and used it a couple of times, so that was our first trip there. Making um, plenty of memories with the families. It's awesome, loving it. So thanks for joining us today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, leave any comments below if you've got any questions about the caravan. Uh, we will be making more videos on it, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys. See ya.